Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now let's learn Form 3 Chapter 1 Indices. First, we learn index notation or index form. Let's say there is a a to the power of n, so a is the base and n is the index or exponent. If 5 to the power of 2, 5 is the base and 2 is the index or exponent. Number 1, write repeated multiplication in index form. The value of index is the same as the number of times base is multiplied repeatedly, where a is not equal to 0. Example A, since the base, 5 repeatedly multiplied 2 times, so the base will be 5 and index will be 2. Example B, since the base, 5 repeatedly multiplied 3 times, so the base will be 5 and index will be 3. Example C, since the base, 0.4 repeatedly multiplied 2 times, so the base will be 0.4 and index will be 2. Example D, since the base, 1 quarter repeatedly multiplied 4 times, so the base will be in parenthesis 1 quarter and index will be 4. Number 2, convert numbers or algebraic terms in index form into repeated multiplications. Example A. In parenthesis negative p to the power of 7 equals in parenthesis negative p repeated multiplied 7 times. Example b, in parenthesis 1n to the power of 3 equals in parenthesis 1n repeated multiplied 3 times. Number 3, in order to convert a number into a number in index form, there are two methods, repeated division and repeated multiplication. Example a. Write 16 in index form using base of 2. Using repeated division method, 16 divide by 2 equals 8. 8 divide by 2 equals 4. Division continued until 1 is obtained. The number of divisions is 4. Hence, 16 equals 2 to the power of 4. Using repeated multiplication method, 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 times 2 equals 16. Hence, 16 equals 2 to the power of 4. Example B. Write 32 3125 in index form using base of 2 fifths. Using repeated division method, divide the numerator, 32 divide by 2 equals 16. 16 divide by 2 equals 8. Division continued until 1 is obtained. The number of divisions is 5. Divide the denominator, 3125 divide by 5 equals 625. 625 divide by 5 equals 125. Division continued until 1 is obtained. The number of divisions is 5. Hence, 32 3125 equals in parenthesis, 2 fifths, to the power of 5. Using repeated multiplication method, 2 fifths times 2 fifths equals 425. 425 times 2 fifths equals 8 125. Multiplication continued until 32 3125 is obtained. The number of multiplication is 5. Hence, 32 3125 equals in parenthesis, 2 fifths, to the power of 5. Number 4. Determine the value of number in index form, a to the power of n. Example a, 2 to the power of 5 using multiplication method, 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 times 2 equals 16. 16 times 2 equals 32. Hence, 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. Using scientific calculator, press 2 to the power of 5 then press equals will get 32. Example B, the repeated multiplication method can use to solve this problem just same as the previous example. Using scientific calculator, press open bracket negative 4 close bracket to the power of 3, then press equals will get negative 64. Example C, similarly, the repeated multiplication method can use to solve this problem. Using scientific calculator, press open bracket 4 fifths close bracket to the power of 4, 
then press equals will get 256 625. Reminder, negative or fractional base must be placed within brackets when using calculator to calculate values of given numbers. Let's look at an example of the difference of with and without bracket. In parenthesis negative 2 to the power of 4 will get 16. While negative 2 to the power of 4 will get negative 16. Now, we learn the five law of indices. First, multiplication of number and index form with same base. a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. For your information, when we write a is implicitly means a to the power of 1. Besides that, negative a to the power is not equal to in parenthesis negative a to the power of n as discussed earlier. Example a. 2 squared times 2 cubed equals 2 to the power of 2 plus 3, which will get 2 to the power of 5. By using repeated multiplication can prove the law. Example B, group the coefficients and the algebraic terms with the same base. Then, do the operations of the coefficients, 3 times 1 sixth times 12 and will get 6. After that apply the first law of indices for the algebraic number m to the power of 4 plus 5 plus 1. Lastly, the answer will be 6 and m to the power of 10. Example C, group the terms with the same base. Then do addition operation of the indices for the terms with the same base. At last we'll end up m to the power of 7 and n to the power of 7. Second law, division of numbers in index form with the same base a to the power of m divide by a to the power of n equals a to the power of m minus n. Example a, by applying second law of indices, 2 to the power of 6 minus 2 equals 2 to the power of 4. Using repeated multiplication, 2 divide by 2, and again 2 divide by 2, will get the same result. Example b, Group the numbers and algebraic terms with the same base first. Operate the coefficient, 25 fifths and apply second law of indices on x and y. At last we'll end up as 5xy square. Third law, raise a number in index form to a power. Example a, 3 squared raised to the power of 4, the index 2 times 4 equals 8, will end up 3 to the power of 8. Using repeated multiplication can prove that, 3 squared repeatedly multiplies 4 times, will become 3 to the power 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Example b, h cubed raised to the power of 10, the index 3 times 10 equals 30, will end up h to the power of 30. Use law of indices to perform operations of multiplication and division. First the power q times with all indices, m and n, will end up a to the power of mq and b to the power of nq. The power q times with all indices, m and n, will end up a to the power of mq divide b to the power of nq. Example a, the power 4 times all the indices inside the bracket and will get the answer. Example b. The power of 3 times all the indices of numbers and algebraic terms inside the bracket. The term do not write any index is actually index 1. After that do the division operation, the division of algebraic terms with same base will be minus of indices. Fourth law, a to the power of 0 equals 1. a to the power of negative n a equals 1 over a to the power of n where a is not 0. Example a, 2 to the power of 0 equals 1 and using repeated multiplication can prove that. Example b, 2 to the power of negative 2 equals 1 over 2 squared. By using repeated multiplication can prove that. Example c, state the term in positive index form. x to the power of negative 4 equals 1 over x to the power of 4. 2a to the power of negative n equals 2 over a to the power of n. Bear in mind that it is not equals 1 over 2a to the power of n. Example d, state the term in negative index form. 1 over 3 to the power of 4 equals 3 to the power of negative 4. 
in parenthesis 4 fifths to the power of 8 equals in parenthesis 5 fourths to the power of negative 8. Fifth law, relationship between fractional indices and roots and powers. n root of a equals a to the power of 1 over n, where a is not 0. 1 over a is the reciprocal of a. Example a, in order to get the value of x there are two methods. Method 1 using square roots. Square roots are used to eliminate squares. In an equation, if we square roots left hand side, we need to square roots right hand side as well. 9 is 3 squared. Square roots of x squared equals square roots of 3 squared. So we'll get x equals 3. Method 2 using reciprocal. The reciprocal of 2 is half. Multiply the indices of left hand side and right hand side with half will get x equals 3. Example B, method 1 using cube roots. Cube roots are used to eliminate cube. In an equation, if we cube roots left hand side, we need to cube roots right hand side as well. 64 is 4 cubed. Cube roots of x cubed equals cube roots of 4 cubed. So we'll get x equals 4. Method 2 using reciprocal. The reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. Multiply the indices of left hand side and right hand side with 1 third will get x equals 4. Example C. Convert the term into form a to the power of 1 over n. Cube roots of negative 27 equals in parenthesis negative 27 to the power of 1 third. Fifth root of m equals m to the power of 1 fifth. Example D. Convert the term into the form into the form n root of a. In parenthesis negative 1000 to the power of 1 third equals cube roots of negative 1000. n to the power of 1 twelfth equals 12th roots of n. The formula in the rounded rectangle shows that a to the power of m over n can be written in different forms. Example a. Convert the following into specify forms. By comparing with the formula, we know that 27 is a, 2 is m, and 3 is n in this example. Example b. Convert the following into the specify forms. By comparing with the formula, we know that m is a, 2 is m, and 5 is n in this example. Example c. Calculate value of term fifth root of negative 32. First, write it in parenthesis negative 32 to the power of 1 fifth. In order to simplify this, change negative 32 to negative 2 to the power of 5. Multiplication of the indices will get 1. Finally, the answer will be negative 2. Exercises Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below.